Once upon a time, Gil and I went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Don't wander away, Bubble Puppy. There's a really mean green witch in the enchanted forest. <laughs> I want to test my mean green bubble potion on that little dog. Bubble, bubble, here comes trouble. <laughs> My potion works! <laughs> See you later, frog! <laughs> that frog has a collar just like Bubble Puppy. Oh no! The witch turned Bubble Puppy into a frog! We have to turn him back into Bubble Puppy. I know! We can make a magic potion to fix him. We need to find the enchanted ingredients from all the fairy tales in the enchanted forest. And pink bubbles, too. We'll put everything we collect in our potion pouch. Then we can mix it all together to make a magic potion to save Bubble Puppy. Don't worry, Bubble Puppy. You're going to be a puppy again. Let's get going. We need your help to collect the enchanted ingredients for the magic potion. To help me swim over to one, move the mouse back and forth, like this. Remember, we'll also need to collect as many pink bubbles as we can. To help me zoom down the path and collect pink bubbles really fast, swim over to the bags of enchanted pixie dust. But that mean green witch is going to try to stop us. Watch out for obstacles like the witch's mean green potion bottles and enchanted brooms on the path. We can swim around things or jump over things by clicking the mouse button. Let's get going. Bubble Puppy needs our help. We need to collect seven of the fairy tale gingerbread men. One, watch out for the witch's mean green potion bottles. Two, Swim around the enchanted brooms. Three. Four. There, we only need one more gingerbread man. Seven! Swimsational! That was the last one we needed! We collected one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven! Gingerbread men. All right! We can keep the ingredients in our potion pouch. We need to collect even more enchanted ingredients to turn Bubble Puppy back into a puppy. <laughs> Come on! Let's go! We need to collect more enchanted ingredients. Remember to collect as many pink bubbles as you can. Swim to a bouncy flower so it can bounce me high into the air. Watch out for witch signs and enchanted forest dragons. We need to go around them. Or click the mouse button to jump over them. Ready? Let's go! We need to collect two kinds of ingredients. First, let's collect four of Hansel and Gretel's gingerbread houses. One, careful of the enchanted forest dragons. Two, watch out for witch signs. Three, all right, we just need one more gingerbread house. Almost there! We only need five of Snow White's Enchanted Apples. One, 
one. Hooray! Two. Three. Swimstational. Four. All right. We just need one more. Apple. Swimstational. Five. You found the last one we needed. Let's stop to check our ingredients. We collected one, two, three, four gingerbread houses. And one, two, three, four, five apples. Swimstational. Let's store the ingredients in our potion pouch. Don't worry, boy. We only have a few more ingredients to collect to turn you back into Bubble Puppy. Come on, let's swim. We need to collect the last set of enchanted ingredients. When you see a big pink bubble moving across the path, swim to it and collect even more bubbles. Watch out for the lab crabs and the witch's potion barrels. We need to swim around them. Or we can jump over them. We're almost there, Bubble Puppy. This is the last set of enchanted ingredients. Here we go. We need to collect three kinds of ingredients. First, let's look for five of Little Red Riding Hood's cookies. One, watch out for the witch's potion barrels. Two, watch out for the lab crabs. Three, Four, almost there. We only need one more cookie. All right! Five! Now we'll need five of Hansel and Gretel's breadcrumbs. One. Just have to find five of Cinderella's magic pumpkins. One. Two. Fantastic. Three. There. We only need one more pumpkin. Whoa! Five! I think you got them all. Let's see if they're all there. We collected one, two, three, four, five cookies. One, two, three, four, five breadcrumbs. And one, two, three, four, five pumpkins. All right, we can keep the ingredients in our potion pouch. We collected all of the enchanted ingredients for the magic potion. We already put the pink bubbles in the pot. Now let's get the ingredients out of our potion pouch. Pop the bubbles to make the ingredients fall into the pot. Click on a bubble to pop it. Wow! Great job! Wow! Fantastic! Great job! 
no! All of the ingredients are in the pot! Move your mouse back and forth to mix everything together. We did it! We made the magic potion to help Bubble Puppy. Don't worry, boy. We'll turn you back into Bubble Puppy now. It worked! All right! We turned Bubble Puppy back into a puppy! <laughs> bubble, Bubble, you're all in trouble! <sighs> bubble, Bubble! I'm in trouble! Rabbit! Rabbit! The witch turned herself into a frog. And she likes it. Read it. That's what I call a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there were two brave firefighter knights. And their trusty fire dog, Bubble Puppy. It was their job to protect the kingdom from fires. Oh no! There's a fire-breathing dragon! To put out those fires with our water-breathing dragon, Hydrangea. But we'll need your help to fly Hydrangea and keep her filled with water. Will you be a firefighter knight and help us? Fantastic! Firefighter knights to the rescue! Come on, team! There's no time to lose! Okay, firefighter knight. Here's how to fly our water-breathing dragon. To move Hydrangea up and down, move your mouse up and down. To collect buckets of water, move Hydrangea over to the buckets. We can tell how many buckets of water we have by looking here. Remember, we can't fly through the smoke. To safely get past the smoke, we have to get low and go. So click on Hydrangea and she'll get low and go under the smoke. Fly into Wing Gus for a speed boost. And make sure to keep us flying above the houses and other things on the ground. Yeah, if we bump into anything, we'll lose a bucket of water. Can't have that. Firefighter Knights, to, to the, the rescue! rescue! The fire-breathing dragon is headed to ye old barn. Let's tail that dragon. Alright, more water for Hydrangea! Fantastic! Yay! Yay! Alright, more water for Hydrangea! Here we go! Yay! Here we go! Water for Hydrangea! All right, more water for Hydrangea! There it is! Fire at ye old barn! Let's put it out with ye cold water! We collected 20 buckets of water. We need to totally fill Hydrangea with water. To fight this fire, we need 7 more buckets. Help us count. Click the group that has seven buckets. Fantastic! That's how many buckets we need. Now we can put out the fire at Ye Old Barn. Firefighter Knights, to, to the, the rescue! rescue! To aim Hydrangea's head up and down, move your mouse up and down. To make Hydrangea spray water at the fire, click on the screen. But don't click the fire. Firefighter Knights know never to touch fire. Don't touch the fire. It's hot. Phew, 
That was a close one. The fire's out, Gil. We saved the old barn. But where's the fire-breathing dragon? Look, he's flying away. Hydrangea, after him. Oh, no. Now the dragon's flying toward the royal castle. If it catches fire, the kingdom will be in royal trouble. We can stop him. Let's move out. Watch out for griffins and eagles. Hydrangea with water. To fight this fire, we need six more buckets. Help us count. Click the group that has six buckets. Fantastic! That's how many buckets we need. Firefighter Knights, to, to the, the rescue! rescue! A royal fire needs a royal dousing with water. That should do it, Molly. Yes, it did. Fire's out. Gil, look! There's the fire-breathing dragon. Hey! No more breathing fire on stuff, dragon! Gil! He's not breathing fire on purpose! He just ate a spicy lunch! Aha! Just as I thought! Nachos with extra hot sauce! Don't worry, Mr. Dragon! We can help you! With all the water you can drink! Better? Fantastic! We saved the kingdom! Firefighter Knights to the rescue! Yay! Hi! It's me, Molly! Today, Gil and I are at the zoo, learning about all the different animals and their habitats. This is Monty the Rhino. He's from the African savanna. A savanna is a warm place with tall grass and some trees. He looks kind of lonely. Poor Monty. I think he needs a friend. Yeah, he needs an animal friend who's also from the savanna that can live with him and keep him company. Good idea, Gilly. Let's drive through the zoo to find a friend for Monty. Come on. We get to drive in the zoo rover. Cool! Help us steer. To move around things in our way, press the up and down arrows on the keyboard. Or press the space bar to jump over them. Help us pick up snacks for all the zoo animals along the way. Look for fish, bananas, or little bugs. Now we're ready to find Monty a friend. First stop, the snowy tundra habitat. Let's go! Watch out for puddles of water and ice cream carts. And steer over to the fish to pick them up. Awesome! Now that's driving! to jump over things in our way.
space bar to jump over things in our way. Swimsational! Fantastic! Look, the snowy tundra habitat is just ahead. This is the snowy tundra habitat. A snowy tundra is a habitat where the land is covered in snow and ice. Brr! We need your help! Only one of these animals lives in the snowy tundra. Click on the animal that you think lives here. That's it! The penguin lives in a snowy tundra habitat like this one. The penguin wants a snack. Let's give him the fish we collected. Do you think the penguin can live in the same habitat with Monty and be his friend? Click yes or no. Yeah! The penguin lives in the snowy tundra and Monty lives in the warm savanna. They can't live in the same habitat and be friends. Let's get back in the zoo rover and keep looking for a friend for Monty. Next stop, the jungle habitat. Let's go! Watch out for garbage cans and signs. And steer over to the bananas to collect them. Super Zoo Searching! Nice job! Super Zoo Searching! Now that's driving! Watch out! Press the space bar to jump over things in our way. Alright! Watch out! Press the space bar to jump over things in our way. Look! The jungle habitat is just ahead! This is the jungle habitat. A jungle is a place with lots and lots of green leafy trees. We need your help. Only one of these animals lives in the jungle. Click on the animal that you think lives here. Yeah, the gorilla lives in the jungle habitat. Awesome job. The gorilla wants a snack. Let's give him the bananas we collected. Do you think the gorilla could live in the same habitat with Monty? and be his friend? Click yes or no. Right on. The gorilla lives in the tree-filled jungle and Monty lives in the grassy savanna. So they can't live together in the same habitat. Let's keep looking for the right friend for Monty. Last stop, the savanna habitat. Let's go. Watch out for park benches and water fountains and steer over to the bugs to collect them. Awesome! Far to jump over things in our way. Uh oh. Nice steering. Super zoo searching. Look, the 
savanna habitat is just ahead. This is the savanna habitat. It's a warm place with tall grass and a few trees. We need your help. Only one of these birds lives in the savanna. Click on the bird that you think lives here. Yes, that's the tick bird. It lives in the savanna habitat. The tick bird wants a snack. Let's give her the bugs we collected. Do you think the tick bird could live in the same habitat with Monty and be his friend? Click yes or no. Totally. The tick bird would make a great friend for Monty because they both live in the same habitat, the savanna. All right. We found Monty a friend. Let's introduce them. Look, Monty and the tick bird make great friends because they both live in the same habitat. Ah, Monty is smiling. He's not gonna be a lonely rhino anymore. Great job! Thanks for helping us find a friend for Monty at the zoo.
Thank <laughs> you. 